Hey guys, Takizuki here, gonna be doing my 23 and me DNA report here today with you guys. So I did the test a little ways back. I don't think it was it took as long as I thought it would to get the results back for the actual DNA report. Uh, but I took the test a few weeks back and surprisingly it's already ready. I think my friend took a lot longer than what I did, so that's maybe they've kind of, you know, sped up the processor processor hired more people. Uh, anyway, let's look at the results here. So I'm very excited about this ancestry composition. Uh, this is the bulk of the report. It is. It was an ancestry kit. It wasn't like a health and ancestry. It was just ancestry. Um, so right there, there's my results right there. European 98.5%, Sub-Saharan African 1.1%. <laughs> And uh, Eastern Asian Native 0.1, South Asian 0.1, uh, less than 0.1, and unassigned 0.3. So we can look at all the populations behind this. This should be fun right here. Uh, so you've got British and Irish at 41.4%. That's that's interesting. I thought I was more on the uh, you know the German side, but the French and German side apparently for me is. 11% uh, That's a little lower than what I expected. Uh, I do like Irish uh, drinking songs though they, Those are always fun to listen to <laughs> uh, Scandinavian 2.2% 2. 2%. Uh, And then broadly Northwestern European 36.9% uh, so, uh, I don't know what that entails for the that whole region, but um, either way we're mostly I am mostly uh, British and Irish. <laughs> uh, and then a little bit of touch of Southern European 3.7, uh, Eastern European 0.5, Ashkenazi Jewish 0.2, Broadly European 2.7, uh, Broadly South Asian 0.1, and Native American less than 0.1. Uh, so that actually surprised me. Uh, family lore about having Native American great great grandparents and whatnot and um, you know from that report here I don't really see that showing up in my DNA report but uh, you know I don't I don't think it's that wrong or anything <laughs> or maybe my family just doesn't know what a Native American is sometimes uh, either way <laughs> sub-saharan African 1.1% and this is West African 1% uh, that actually surprised me. I didn't think I had any African in me at all, but uh, yeah, I do apparently. And uh, Middle Eastern, that's less than 0 0.1. Oceani, Oce Oceanian, and that's zero. Unassigned 0 0.3. So fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, so you can see the breakdown right there of uh, the timeline. Actually, that's kind of a neat report there. 1960s and 1900s. Most likely had a parent, grandparent, or great grandparent who was 100% British and Irish. This person was likely born between 1900 and 1960. And then I have the French and German in the 1800s, and uh, West African in the 1800s, and reaching back to the 1700s, it looks like. Scandinavian back in the 1700s as well, a little bit. And uh, Ashkenazi Jewish way back there as well. 8 plus, so South 8. What? Uh, that seems weird. <laughs> that seems weird. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There's the pairings again. So I think the, I think we get the gist of that. So I'm mostly British and Irish. That's what I was wondering about. Um, we can go ahead and go through the other reports. It gives you like five different reports with the ancestry kit. Uh, maternal haplogroup. I am in the L group. Uh, this was 180,000 years ago. It dates back then, and it comes from Africa. Uh, this is the mother's line. Traces back to a woman who lived approximately 7,500 years ago. That's th nearly 300 generations ago. What happened between now and then? And it's uh, H1H is a relatively common, or is relatively common among 23andMe customers. One in 260, so I'm pretty common. I'm not a special snowflake or anything. Connects millions of people from the British to Turek. And. Yeah, so that's the gist of that one. I, I was mostly interested in the ancestry portion, but these are neat little side things you get for your money. And paternal haplogroup is RL48. I don't really know how to read this one too well. <laughs> uh, 22,000 years ago in this haplogroup uh, with the paternal. And this comes from mostly Eastern or Western Europe? Eastern Europe? Somewhere around there. We're a small portion of your ancestors. 
Whether or not you are closely re related with someone who you share a hat with, you turn a hat with, but you're a female. So, if you're female, I don't think this applies uh, in this case. I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting report. I'll have to peruse that a little bit later. Neanderthal ancestry. Let's see how much of a caveman I am. <laughs> so I have 274 Neanderthal variants. Less than 57% of 23andMe customers. So I have fewer Neanderthal variants than 50 per 57%. Yeah. However, your Neanderthal ancestry accounts for less than 4% of your overall DNA. Uh, apparently I am first place out of my family and friends. Uh, <laughs> got more Neanderthal uh, elements to me than um, my friend there. Uh, that's the only person I'm connected to. So variants found. I got straight hair. Uh, whoa, I have no, I don't have straighter hair. I guess uh, less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. Okay, I got a little bit of that. I guess less back hair. Uh, I think I do have a little bit more back hair than normal. <laughs> uh, associated with height, I am on the shorter side. I am on the shorter side, so I gotta give it up for that one. Uh, so that's an interesting background information right there. Very cool, very cool. You can see, uh, evolved outside, evolved within Africa. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Okay, so let's go to the... Well, actually, I'm not going to go to my DNA family. I've got, um, I believe 1,200 people at least. You can see right there, this is my DNA family right there, 1,200 DNA relatives. And I don't really want to reveal their names or anything. I don't want to, you know, mess with their privacy or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I've got quite a few. I recognized at least two people from my family uh, on these DNA relatives. So apparently some family members that I barely even know have taken this. And there's a ton that I probably don't even know have taken this. Uh, uh, the highest match I can tell you is I got uh, about 7% 7, 7 uh, DNA relations or whatever uh, with the highest family rank member and then it goes down to like one point ish uh, so it drops off pretty significantly uh, when it comes to DNA relations but yeah overall it's a really cool report <laughs> it's really fun to do uh, really fun to peruse this and it, it makes me think about my heritage and lineage and all that kind of stuff I uh, had a good time reading reading this thing and having a good time sharing it with you guys as well uh, but yeah, there we go again. British and Irish. So I need to go sing me some Irish songs, play on my tin whistle over there, learn a few, learn a few ditties and stuff, and uh, it'll be a good time. <laughs> it'll be a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. You know, if you're ever interested in 23andMe, go ahead, and, go ahead and give the website a visit. Uh, try to try to look out for one of their specials. They usually have pretty good specials from time to time. I'm not, I'm not like shilling for them or anything. Uh, they gave this kit to me for free to do a video, but, uh, you know, I'm not obligated to shill from them, shill from them, shill for them or anything. Um, I just enjoyed it, and I think other people would enjoy it as well. That's the purpose of me actually doing this video, because it was fun. It's fun. It's fun to know more about yourself, and it's fun to share more about yourself with others as well, I think. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.